Hey there, as always, thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna to install this Pixelcade dot display. And this is gonna mount right here in between our speakers. And this will display high scores as well as game titles uh, while we're scrolling through or launching games. So tools we're gonna to need for this installation, we're going to need the mounting template. That's this guy, this comes with the kit. So we're just gonna tape this on here and tape that down. And then basically it's got five holes that we need to drill. So we need our drill gun and one larger drill bit that basically just find a drill bit that fits in this hole. So this is for the Rec Room Masters. Um, if you have happen to have the At Games uh, Ultimate Legends, then I've got another size that's just basically half the size. And so I'm gonna do this in a future video. We won't do it on this one, but this will go right in between the speakers right there on your At Games Legends. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our mounting template, which is gonna go like so. And then you'll notice that I have the Pixelcade LCD unmounted. That's gonna be a lot easier because we need to be able to see in here. So I definitely recommend take this, art, take this off first. So let's get some blue tape. And we can just kinda eyeball it and tape it down and then we can measure it to make sure it's nice and centered. So I'm just gonna get a couple pieces here of blue tape. Take this guy. That looks about right. Okay, so let's just do a quick measurement to make sure it's about the same. That looks a little under an inch. Okay, so now let's just tape it down pretty good. We don't want it moving around while we're drilling our, ho our holes. And then before you drill, just have a look up here Make sure you don't have anything that you're gonna drill into, like maybe your speaker amp or something like that. Um, it's gonna be obviously clear of your speakers, so just double check that. Looks like we're okay. So let's go ahead and drill these four holes first. Okay, and if you want, you can just do a quick test to make sure that these are in right. Yeah, that looks good. Careful not to move it while you're doing that. And then now take your bigger drill bit, which is this guy right here. And this, this bigger hole is basically gonna let us route through the wires basically. So that's what this bigger hole is in case you're wondering. So let's go ahead and drill that out. Okay, all done. Set our drill aside. I'll get rid of all this dust later. And so now we can go ahead and remove our template. Okay, so I had a couple holes here, just ignore those. Those were for a previous installation. And so the first thing you wanna do actually is let's take off, let's take off the blue tape off the front of this guy, or we can just kind of take, just make sure it's not, um, just make sure it's not going all the way around. And then again, very, very important, super important. Okay, so this side up like this, just flip it over. And so just remember the wires are gonna be on the right side, that's where you drill that hole, okay? Very important, otherwise it's gonna be upside down. Okay, so, and then note that the kit also comes with these, these little hex nuts, which we're gonna use to 
screwed on the top. So just set those aside. There's uh, washers as well. So let's go ahead and take this. And again, remember, um, it's got to be facing up. And then this just, if this is on the right side, you can't screw up basically. So let's take our wires. We got four, five wires here. Let's string it through this hole that we just drilled. And it's probably got to do one wire at a time. Might be able to get two in there. Now let's just do one at a time. Okay, so we've got all of our wires in and this hole should be big enough. This is a little tight fit. This is a prototype cable. So the one you get this will be a little easier fit, I think. Okay, so we got our wires in there. Now let's just line up this screws and just pop it on basically. All right, looks good. Let's, um, let's leave this blue tape on just so we don't scratch things up. Okay, so let's just take this opportunity. Let's get rid of all this sawdust here. So I'm gonna get my shop back. All right, so now we just need to button everything down. So here's the cable that we routed through. This is your power cord for your Super Pixel Kate LCD. And then we're just gonna take these hex nuts and washers and just secure it in on the other side. Now you can't quite see it from this camera angle, so sorry about that, but basically, you know, you've got a nut, got a machine th screw going through and we're just gonna take these, these hex nuts and just simply secure them on the other side. So very straightforward. And if you have a little tool, a little hex driver that helps, if not, you can just do it by hand. So there, there we have it all installed. And just one word of advice, when you tighten down these hex nuts at the top here, just do hand tight, don't over tighten them because if you do, it's actually gonna cinch up the sides and it's gonna bow a little out on the front here. So to avoid that, um, just hand tighten them. It's not gonna go anywhere. So you can see here, it's nice and sturdy. It's not coming out. So no need to over tighten it. Otherwise it's gonna bow out a little bit. And then you are good. So at this point, let's go ahead and reinstall our Pixelcade. And then I'll show you how to wire up these five wires to the Pixelcade. So here is our pixel cable board and here is the custom cable you're going to need to hook up the pixel cable dot display. Now look at this cable and notice how there's red wires on this side. And so unfortunately with this cable, there's no notch. So you could actually mess it up by plugging it in this way or this way. So the right way you want to plug it in is just look at these red wires and the red wires are going to go towards the bottom side like this. So just go ahead and pop it in. Okay, so that's the correct orientation. So again, the red wires are on this side, and then these are where we're gonna plug in the various displays. Um, so now let's go ahead and mount everything. Let's make sure we got this right side up. Okay, so we'll just set that back like this. But if you remember, the first thing we need to do pop this guy in. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, and then now this one will connect and we're just gonna use our little, got rid of those fingerprints in a second, our little thumb screws. These you can actually screw in by hand if you like.
Okay, remember these thumb screws, don't put them in just hand tight. Don't over tighten them because you don't want to crack anything. And then I made a mess with fingerprints. So let's get rid of those fingerprints with your microfiber cloth. Okay, so at this point, you're looking at the back of your Pixel K display, which is already mounted in your cabinet. And now we need to connect some wires. So let's start with this first wire, which is a five pin. So this is gonna to go to the Pixel K dot display. Again, this is already mounted. So let's grab that other end of that cable, which you fed through earlier. And this part is really simple. We're just gonna connect the colors. So basically you've got these five colors here. Let's start with red. Then black. Then green. Yellow. And white. All right, so this part is e really easy. Just connect the colors. Can't screw up, okay? Now, if you're connecting the mini OLED display, which is this one, then you wanna go use this four pin connector and it's the same thing. So four wires here, four pins here, just go ahead and connect. So let's start with the black. Then the red. And the purple, and then the blue. Okay, so now we've got our, our OLED and our Pixel K dot display. And then this is optional, but if you wanna hook up a power switch, so this is a momentary switch. So when I hit this switch, it's actually gonna power down Pixel K LCD, then that's what these two orange wires are for. And this is a momentary display, so it doesn't matter which one goes to which. So just take your two pins, connect it to this guy, and then you can mount this somewhere in your cab. And when you want to shut down Pixel Kate LCD, you just hit the button and it'll shut down. So that'll be a little bit easier if you want to go through the trouble of wiring up that switch. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up. Let's power on and see how we did. Now you notice that sometimes when you first turn on the dot display may just display a little block like that. Just ignore that. Once everything, uh, once everything boots up, it will, that will go away. Okay, so we can see it's working. It's showing us the firmware version actually, so that's good. So now we've got scrolling titles as we scroll through the games. Okay, so this, as I change each game, this is gonna change. Now let's see if the high scores are working. So let me go ahead and pick a game. It's got high scores. Okay, I know I've got some high scores in Asteroids, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it's gonna say now playing and then there's my high scores. So if the game has high scores, it will play those high scores, it'll scroll those as I'm playing the game. Okay, so as I'm playing the game, it'll keep scrolling those scores. So let's go ahead and get out. 